Yeah, it's Spice Week. All right, well, we're spicing it. We're, we're spicing it our own way. Jay Garcia. Let's go. What do you got for us? We got a goon into a Machamp. Yeah, this is a, a matchup we have to switch out of. So we'll go to our Cress. And they will go to... Oh, Meganium. That's fun. The best possible thing for us here uh, would be a debuff. Because that makes this matchup a little bit better for us. Okay, no debuff, but... We do get to play... What are they... We do get to play this game. This is a hard matchup to win. Meganium is just such a, a bulk monster. But I'm not worried about dying to Vine Whips from half health. So, sort of smart play on their part to shield the first Moonblast. Knowing that I probably wouldn't bait the first one. But, I just don't think we're going to win this fight. We, we need to. We can't win if we don't have Switch Advantage. Well, actually we can. There is still a world we can win. Which uh, requires a lot of our Alolan Marowak. Yeah, but we die to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to play this game about with shields. I mean, the the the, the Machamp is going to be pretty good no matter what against us. But uh, we're just going to see. We're going to see what they want to do here. Yep. I figured that would be that would be the, the play for them. Zapdos. Okay. All right. Well, at least that gives our Obstagoon something to do. But it's pretty awkward. So you hear... <laughs> uh, all right. Well, they switched into that. That's not the outcome we wanted. I was not expecting them to do this. So I had a, I had a plan here. And that plan... That plan just backfired on me pretty badly. Whoops. Oh, we actually got a boost there. That's pretty great. Um... Come on, come on. Yes, throw it. I wanted the energy thrown. Okay. We still... So, my plan inv involved getting a little bit of a lead here. Oh, please don't be Rock Slide. If this is Rock Slide, I think we lose. They had a ton of energy. I just needed... Uh, come on. Oh, boo. Yeah, we'll die to a drill pack now. Well, we'll die to anything now. We just needed a, a little bit of a running start here. So, I was trying to navigate a scenario where... um. Like, they locked their Machamp in, but I was hoping it would be a little bit slower than it was, and that didn't work out for us. <laughs> um, rip. So, our losses both times have been to counter leads, which is the one team that we we really struggle against. Um, so, nothing I could do there. I could have also... Yeah, I probably should have not coughed up the shield uh, against the Meganium and just lost. In hindsight, knowing their team comp... Um, we could have probably run it with, uh, Marowak. Which would have been a fine, a fine play pattern. Like, just try and win with Marowak. Alright. Eh, GG's. Those, anytime somebody leads a counter user, we're gonna, we're gonna struggle a little bit, so. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, run it back. Bobanya. I assume that's how you say this. What do you got for us? Bob Anya? Could be Bob Anya, I guess. Goon into a Hypno. Sure. Shadow Hypno. This is a matchup we're happy with. Yep. We're just gonna go straight away to our uh, our our Cresselia. They didn't they didn't spot us the sort of uh energy that the other ones have. Bow Bow Naya. <laughs> fine, St. Folan, fine. Correct me. Sure. And we'll just... I mean, they could have a Hydro Pump, but again, we don't need it. We could take the first one. Bo a bow and arrow? Oh, I see. Yeah, so fine. The first one hits pretty hard. And then, let's see. The best play pattern for them is probably to not shield... And then force me to uh, shield this next charge move. Which I'm going to do. And then I'm going to farm them. 
I'd like to keep switch advantage, even though it kind of kind of irrelevant, um, given our, our other two Pokemon. But I feel like I can get this shield back, provided you know the farm works. <laughs> it got a little close there, but it got a little close there. What do you have? Am I gonna get blown out because of this? Nope. There's the Hypno. So let's throw a couple Moon Blasts at it. I've done that play pattern before, so I was a little nervous there when it wasn't uh, when it wasn't working for us. Okay, we have to throw a bunch of these. They're gonna have a bunch of energy. The question is whether or not they can turn that energy into their be wow. Okay. What? It <laughs> now I just feel like they're in trouble. <laughs> Because they've basically not... Wow, okay. So what's their last Pokemon? That's that's fair. That's actually going to be pretty good against us. Okay. So we don't take much from counter. So I'm just going to take a Mud Bomb. What I need to do is probably get a... I probably need to get Obstagoon in potentially to uh, take a Mud Bomb. The problem is, is I also can't do it when uh, I can't do it when uh, when shields are down because I, what I don't want to happen is them to farm me after a. Uh, Oh, unfortunately for them, this also kills them. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, run it, put him straight into Night Slash range. Yeah, I think this. I think this works. We're very close to. Come on. Yeah, they have. They have to throw a move, and then we just save the shield. All right. This works. And then if they have a second one, we shield it. But nah. GGS. Woo. Uh, that was not the that was not the matchup I wanted to play myself out of, but we did all right. We didn't even end up using the shield. <laughs> we didn't even use the shield. <laughs> Man, I feel like we should have just like an audio cue for boss music, like anytime you get absolutely blown out. <laughs> uh, GGS. I just feel like this team this team has been has been suiting me. Like I I I, uh, I feel like the play patterns really work for me, and like that I've got a good sense for like sort of how to how to make this team work so it's just been it's been great i appreciate this is a a creation of the real zabix who i think is is probably here in chat so i appreciate i appreciate it let's go all right omar msy our next opponent let's go let's go umbreon that's what we're looking for that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the Umbreons. Um, yeah, let's let's blow it out. So we're not going to shield anything here, because the big issue is that this will lock the Marowak in against the uh, the Umbreon, obviously. So like, I don't want to uh, give them a ton of energy or anything. In fact, I'm actually going to try and just farm it. Let's go. Let's go. Fingers crossed. I hope this doesn't kill me. Hopefully I didn't blow this. Nope. Perfect. 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 We'll throw a couple uh, Shadow Balls. These are, are resisted, obviously, but Bone Club is terrible. So the answer is generally don't throw bone club unless it's the only thing you get off. We, a bone club would have been better there than nothing, but all right. So we're still, we're still okay here. Last resorts don't hurt us. Shadow ball just does more damage. Random feeling. It does absolutely positively more damage even when resisted. I mean, my guess is that they're not planning to stay in that. Like I can't imagine they're going to shield. Which is like a big, to me, it's a big mistake. It says a lot, but... Oh, they shielded? Wow. All right, well. I still don't need to shield here, but, like, 
I'm shocked that they shielded that gunk shot. They don't have last resort. That's the thing that like is very clear to me. So they're in like a desperately losing matchup and they burned a shield. I mean, I'm going to I'm going to match the shield now. I still don't need to, but I just feel like uh I feel like I I don't mind doing it. We're going to just grab a couple more of those and throw. Uh we can talk about that in a second prof slide, but I'll talk about Shadow Ball in a minute. They shielded again? I mean, their last Pokemon has to be terrible against this thing, right? Yeah, we're 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 matching these shields. <laughs> There's no way. Like, I'm sorry, we we can't. Oh yeah, it's a Bastidon. Awesome, awesome. Just what I want to see. The downside is we've taken enough damage that this is kind of like awkward for us. But what I'm gonna do here is actually. Uh, Cresselia is not good against Bastion by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not abominable. And we're going to put them in range where a couple Grass Knots are probably going to be able to do it. So, And they have to land multiple... Um, they're going to have to land multiple Stone Edges. Multiple Stone Edge. So there's one. Yeah, like, see, they have to land a bunch of those. <laughs> So what I'm hoping here is to come out of this with enough energy to throw, to just throw right away. Or very close to right away. And uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'll catch up on chat here in just a second. Because Crest, Crest is super thick. That is absolutely... Oh, well, okay. I was like, all of a sudden, I'm like, I've committed to farming this Umbreon. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not the right play. I should have thrown. Nope. We just farmed the Umbreon with Psycho Cut. GG's, friends. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, that was probably not ideal. But they were, they were trying to catch the charge move, and I was good about not doing that. But also, oops. <laughs> GG's. All right, let me let me check the chat. I I I, miss, I know I missed a couple things. There were a couple of good questions. Um, okay, so so Shadow Ball um, with a Lola Marowak. If you're running that move set, if you're running Bone Club Shadow Ball, the only time, the only time that the that Bone Club is comes into play is when double resistance is in play. So or double weakness, both actually. So against a normal type, you would throw Bone Clubs. Because Shadow Ball is double resisted. Or against a normal Dark where it's triple resisted, you throw Bone Clubs. Um, against Bastiodon, which is double weak to ground, you throw Bone Club. Everything else, Shadow Ball does more damage. Period. So basically, only, only, only Bone Club as a bait, or if they're double weak to Bone Club. Um, or if you don't need the Shadow Ball for lethal. Like, I Bone Club a lot in the Toxicroak matchup, because... They still have to shield it, <laughs> basically, um, but they will survive. They will survive it. Shadow Ball does does absolutely better DPE. So that's your that's sort of your rule of thumb. I should make the second. I should make a second. Uh, Rock Smash is not it, boss. Though Rock Smash is not it. There we go. Hex. Okay, we'll try it. We'll give it a whirl. Uh, a fat deer. Uh, Jeff Jeffrey did a channel point redemption earlier for it. Yeah, we'll do Hexwhack. I would rather do Hexwhack than Slaking. Mostly because it already fits out our team, too. <laughs> All right, let's try it. So we're on Hex now. Worth noting, we're on Hex. We have to remember that we're on Hex. Okay, let's go. Um, Mushroom style, I think that it's hard to give a good, but anything over 98% stat product, I generally think is good enough. All right, David P, go. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah, Lomalola is great. I, I I actually quite like it. All right, Scrafty. This is a terrible, terrible lead for us. Actually, Scrafty is just bad for our whole team. Oh, yep. I don't know that we beat a Scrafty. This is the first lead Scrafty we've seen. I don't think we beat it. I was trying to... Uh, 
I mean, it's weak to counter, but also, yeah, it, it's gonna lose to Caleb Double Grass. Catherine, I, I don't, I don't really want to be using Hexwhack. I'm just stuck with it. All right, well, we're here. Yeah, we're in trouble. I, I this is the first one we've seen, but I know it's, I know it's an available lead. Yeah, Scrafty is extremely good against our whole team. I don't know that we're beating a Scrafty, frankly. I mean, the best case scenario for us here is that uh, somehow they just think that this is a matchup they want to just stay in. Maybe Cresselia is really good against their team as well, so they just stick this out. They're also power-up punched, so... Can we take one foul play? Please let me... Yes, okay, we can take one. Okay, Hypno... So, upside is that we've put enough damage on the Scrafty that I feel like it's possible to kill it. It's definitely possible to kill it. We're coming back in here. Yep, we're going to let this go. Basically, we're hoping to sweep with, uh, with Marowak now. That's basically our plan. Our plan is that Marowak has to be good against the remainder of the squad. And that they also don't have anything that does fast damage to... Because I'm not shielding this. It's a Shadow Ball we lose. No, it's Thunder Punch. Okay. I'll take the Thunder Punches. Okay. Don't need to do much. We just need to... I want to chip this in so that uh, it dies. There we go. Like They can go back to Scrafty. They went back to Scrafty. That's a good sign for us. It's a good sign for us because it means their last Pokemon might be weak to Alola Marowak. The problem is if it's a grass type, we're going to be in trouble here. So I'm throwing the Shadow Ball. Oh, that's a bummer. Because now we have to shield this. Ugh. I don't know that it's a, a foul play, but let's see. Is it? Nope. Power Up Punch. But we're so low that like... Oh, hey, it's a Lantern? Uh, two Shadow Balls might kill it, but I think we're gonna get Thunder. We're gonna get hit by a Thunderbolt before that happens, right? Yeah, we need two. We need two Shadow Balls. Nope. Actually, we're just gonna die to Spark. GG's. Yeah. I don't know that uh, the the Hex Marowak was the problem there. It certainly didn't help us, but it wasn't. It wasn't the problem. It wasn't the problem. That said, I I still don't like Hex Marowak. <laughs> We're gonna stick with uh we're gonna stick with fire spin, I think. And definitely not rock smash. Definitely not rock smash. Oh come on. The Scrafty was yeah, the Scrafty's just really hard to beat. Um We played we I think we played pretty close to as as well as we could to try and get out of that, but Um yeah, I think that that's that was not a that was not a Pokemon that our were teams meant to beat. And uh, we can beat it, but in the lead especially, we're just we're just kind of we're just kind of shit out of luck if we see it in the lead. So we're seeing a few more counter users in the lead in the last couple uh, sets, but let's see if we can get three and two. Let's see if we can find our three and two vibes. Let me see those three and two vibes in chat. <laughs> uh, random feeling. I don't know that Blizzard on Alomalola helps you be less weak to Altaria. <laughs> All right, Margarito. Let's go. Let's try and get her three and two vibes. Let's go. Obstagoon, Stunfisk, regular Stunfisk. Why can't it be Galarian? A2, what's up? They're on Mudshot too. Okay. Hex AWAC with double nuke I like, Zach. That I like. So... I feel like the play pattern here wants me to, uh, like, part of me wants to shield something, but... Oh. Okay. So, the downside is that they're gonna be able to, uh... God, are we, were we this slow on the switch in? Okay. They got, they got their Earthquake in. 
I'm just throwing because frankly like they might get to another earthquake here but I don't want them to if they don't shield I'm fine with that I just don't want them to okay perfect I didn't want to uh, bait and miss the bait and then also be in trouble because if you bone club there they're not they're not that's that's bad so in this case I will probably bait not that I think I'm going to get to the Shadow Ball, but I do think I can get the Shield. And it's possible? It's possible. Plus the Bone Club, if it lands, actually does like a reasonable amount of damage here. It's not resisted. Wow, they actually did not... That's wild. Well, they'll have to Shield this one. Or they're very much valuing a Shield that I don't think is going to do them as much good as they think. All right, there's the Shield. That's fine. Okay, we die. So I can come back with Goon. Which I think is what I'm going to do. Although, let's see. I feel like, you know what? Let's do the Cresselia. I'm just, like, if their last Pokemon is some kind of Steel type, I just think Obstagoon has, there's some matchup that Obstagoon just we need. Yeah, Jeff Jeffrey, I wish you could do, like, distancey trades. I absolutely do. Like, I wish you could do for lucky friends or like, like one special trade a day with the best friend at distance. Seems great. There's a lot of lag there with those bubbles, but that's okay. They're not shielding that. And their last Pokemon is... Yeah, it's this Mawile. I was like, I have a feeling their last Pokemon might be something we, uh... We care about. So, I'm gonna come in with the Goon and pile on as much damage as I can. Oh, we're, gonna, we're shielding this. For sure. Yeah, just lucky trades would be fine too. Because I feel like I can do enough damage here that uh, we might be able to win this. I mean, they're going to have a hard time killing our Cresselia anyway. Even with a boosted like Iron Head, it's not really lethal. And if they try and farm me, I think they're just going to die to this Night Slash. I know they resist it, but like... <laughs> Mawile, Shadow Mawile especially, not, not, uh, not thick. It's a squishy, it's squishy. There we go. Woo! They did not make it easy for us, but GG's. Hey. Hey. Woo! All right, brother nobody. Have a good one. It's only five of me already done all your set stem. That's wild. <laughs> hey, three and two. We're still, we're still three and two in it. I like it. I like it. The reward is A. Hey, there's a Scraggy. It feels like they're like, hey, did you notice that Scraggy was good? Have you considered maybe Scraggy?